guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would film something a little bit different. Um, as some of you may already know, I am currently in the process of filming my lead up to my market stall slash market day vlog. I've never held a market stall before, um, so this is all a massive learning curve for me. So I thought that it may be helpful to show you guys what I'm using to set up my market day stall um, and let you know where I got it from, especially for us Aussies. I find that we do get left behind a little bit in um, these videos and I think that it would be nice to do this video and let you know where I got all my stuff from and I'm Australian so I got it from Australian available places that sell stuff to Australians so it'll be really easy for you all to find. If you're not from Australia, never fear, I'm sure that you will be able to find something very, very similar to all of this stuff. Um, in your country, I'm sure places like the Dollar Tree in America um, would have stuff like this as well. So let's get started. So first of all, I thought I would start from the bottom up and just go through my tablecloth. As you can see, it is a full length tablecloth. It's got pleated corners, which make it super easy if you need to lift it up and place extra stock underneath out of sight. I went with the color white just because I think that gives your market stall a super fresh and bright feel. And this one is from Luna Events and Wedding Supplies, I believe it's called. I think it cost about 25 Australian dollars, but the place I got it from is just a wedding supply website so if you're not from Australia and you want to try and find one of these I'm sure you'll be able to find something very similar um, where you are. So next I want to take you guys through my banner. <laughs> I don't even know if it fits in the frame. This is a banner I got made up. I got this from vistaprint.com.au. Uh, this is the smallest size. I think it's about 90 centimetres by 52 centimetres off the top of my head. Um, this is actually the smallest one you can get made in the vinyl banners, which is what I got. Um, as you can see, it is quite large. I'm going to safety pin it to the front of my um, tablecloth. So I got mine with the grommets in the corner, which they do recommend to get. And this is an outdoor material. So if it rains, it won't get ruined. Um, but I've just got safety pins through the grommets and I'm just going to safety pin it to the front of my tablecloth on my market stall table. So it's super, super easy to hang. You could hang it from the top of a marquee or a tent or, um, you know, whatever you had your market stall set up as. It's super, super easy. And I think I got this for around... I want to say $30 Australian, but it could have even been less than that. I know Vistaprint are constantly having sales. I get emails probably, I want to say at least every week to every few days with um, Vistaprint sales. So if you go to buy one and it's not on sale and you're not in a rush for it, I definitely recommend waiting because they always have sales. So vistaprint.com.au, I'll leave the link down below to this exact banner that I got. Um, but you basically just upload your logo or your design to their website and they'll print it exactly how it's uploaded. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend getting one of these. It's just a great way to brand and people know what your business is called basically. So that's from Vistaprint. While we're on the topic of Vistaprint, I wanted to take you guys through my business cards. I'm not sure if you can see them. Let me take one out of here. My business cards. If you have purchased anything from my online shop, you probably would have received one of these because I put them in with all my orders. Um, and basically they're just going to sit at the front of my market stall um, table. So if people want to take one for future reference, um, they can. Otherwise, I will be putting in them putting them in the bags when people purchase things. So yeah, I got these from Vistaprint as well. I think they cost like $13 for I think 250. So super, super cheap. Um, they come really quick, delivery is really fast. And yeah, they're actually really good quality for the price. So um, this is what mine look like. So that's the front with just my logo and my website on the bottom. And then if you turn it around on the back, it's got all my contact details. So it's got my email address and then all my social media handles. So people can go and follow me if they want to. So that is my business cards. This business card holder, I literally just got from my local $2 shop. I think it costs $2. Um, you can find them 
anywhere pretty much. Any office supply or $2 shop would probably have these or something very similar to this business card holder. So next I'm going to show you my bags that I plan on putting things in when people purchase stuff. I did want to stay away from plastic so I haven't gone with plastic bags instead. I have gone with these paper craft bags. Um, you can get these in like heaps of different colours so if this colour doesn't suit your brand or your um, branding or logo or whatever you can get different colours. I got these from my local $2 shop and as you can see I've just stamped my logo onto the front of my bags. They come in all different kinds of sizes so I have got a smaller size than this as well in case someone just buys something small. Um, but yeah, that's my bags. I think these bigger ones come in a pack of three and the smaller ones come I think in a pack of four um, but it probably just depends on where you buy them from um, and these were just a few dollars each so super cheap um, and it's great if you do have a stamp you can just stamp your logo right onto the front so you don't have to pay for branding or printing or anything like that which is super handy because we like saving money all right on the topic of my bags and stamping your bags with your logo i got my custom made stamp from a small business small local business called signature designs um they have super quick turnaround. This stamp cost me $10. Like, if you bought something like this off Vistaprint or, you know, a big company, I was looking at about $40. Um, so I found this little local company um, on Facebook, actually, and they're called Signature Designs. I'll link them down below. This stamp cost me $10. Um, they may have put their prices up a little bit since then, but either way, it's still super cheap. So basically, it's just a stamp on a piece of wood and you just use a stamp pad to stamp it. Easy. All right, next I'm going to go through how I'm going to be displaying prices on my market stall tables. So I went and bought these little chalkboards. They've got a little stand on the back so you just pull that out and it stands up on the table. So I got those ones. They come in a pack of four and they're from Kmart. I think they cost about $3 for a pack of four, possibly even less, but definitely less than $5. Um, and then I got these, which are on stands that you can stand up on your table. Um, these are just from my local $2 shop and they cost $2.99 for a pack of four. So I got a couple of packets of those. Um, again, super cheap, easy to access. Um, I'm sure that you would all be able to access these um, if you're not from Australia, I'm sure they would be available in like the Dollar Tree or two dollar shops around the world. Um, they're quite common these days, so yeah. And you just write on them with a chalk pen, which I got from. Where did I get my chalk pen from? I, got, I actually bought two. So one is from Kmart. So Kmart do sell a four pack of chalk pens in different colours. There's like white, pink, green, maybe, and yellow. Um. Otherwise, I got one from Spotlight as well, which is more like a crayon. It's a weird texture, um, but it says for chalkboards, but when you write, it's more like a crayon. So anyway, that's where I got those from to write on these. Next, I this is something I'm very excited about. I have never used tags to tag my products before, but I thought being at a market store, it might be good because people aren't going to remember what your business is called unless you have a tag. So for instance, I thought if I sell someone a beanie and they are walking down the street and someone's like, oh my God, I really love your beanie. And the person asks where they got it from, they're going to be like, if you don't have a tag, they're going to be like, oh, I got it from a market once. I don't remember what the business was called. But if you have tags, and someone asks where they got their beanie from, they're going to say, oh, let me just have a look at the tag and I'll tell you where it's from. So it's a great marketing tool, <laughs> I suppose. So this is what they look like. Oh, let me try and focus the camera. I don't know if you guys can see. Basically, they're just little rectangle tags with my logo printed on them. And these are from Little Laser Co., which is a small Aussie business. And I literally ordered these. I messaged them on Instagram probably, I want to say maybe five 
shipped to six days ago and I've already gone and picked them up. So they have a super fast turnaround. I did ask if it was possible to get them by my market store because I did leave it a bit late to order them and they were like, yes, no worries. We can definitely accommodate that. And they offer pickup. So if you're in Melbourne or in the Melbourne area, you can go and pick them up if you don't want to wait for postage. So that was super duper handy. I'll link them below as well so you can go and check them out. All right, now I'm going to move on to my most favorite shop in the whole entire world, um, and that is Kmart. For all you Aussies out there, you will know that how amazing Kmart is and how many different things they sell. For those of you who aren't from Australia, Kmart is like a department store, I guess, but it has the most amazing range of like modern home decorating items. If you Google it, you'll see, you'll see. You'll know what I mean. Anyway, I got a lot of my stuff that I'm using to set up my market store from Kmart. Um, this, these baskets, for instance, I got from Kmart. I think they cost, I want to say maybe $5 each, maybe a little bit more. I can't remember exactly. Um, but these are from Kmart. I got three of these. And what I love about these is that on the front, they have like a chalkboard where you can write what's in the basket. So for instance, on this one, I've written beanies because that's what I'm going to be putting in this one. Uh, obviously you could write anything you want. You could put pricing on the front. Um, and all I've used to write on here is just like with the little mini chalkboards, the chalkboard pen. So super duper easy. You can wipe it straight off. It's like a metal. It's not actually chalk, I suppose. It's like a metal board. So it wipes off really easily. So you could reuse them a thousand times and it's not like a chalkboard that would go a bit hazy where the chalk has been. It literally just wipes off. Super easy. So they are great. I've bought three of those. I'm even contemplating on getting some more, but we'll see. Once I've set everything up and see how much space I have, we'll see how I go with these. But yes, they're from Kmart and they are super cute. At my market stall, I'm going to be selling these face scrubbies which I will go through more in my stock video, but these are basically a pattern from Stitched Up Craft and they're reusable makeup scrubbies. So instead of using those little white cotton pads to remove your makeup, you use these, you chuck them in the wash, and then you can reuse them for years and years and years. And I came across this little box at Kmart, which is in the cutlery section. So it's actually meant to go in your cutlery drawer to help organize your cutlery drawer, but it fits these makeup scrubbies absolutely perfectly. So I've got one of those to store my makeup scrubbies in. I highly recommend they're a perfect size. You can get longer ones as well. So if you did have more makeup scrubbies than this and you wanted to get a longer one, you can get ones that are like this long. So yeah, super handy for storing your makeup scrubbies. Okay, some more useful things that I got from Kmart are these wire balls. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, let me take this headband off. But I came across these and straight away I was like, I'm going to use those for heads. So I'm using these to store or to display my headbands and my beanies on. So basically they're just a wire ball I guess I actually don't know what they're used for I'm sure they're just for like decoration um, but as soon as I saw these I was like oh my god I can use those for heads to display my headbands and beanies on so that's what I got um, I think these these come in a couple of different sizes I think there is a smaller size as well um, but I think I paid I want to say about seven or nine dollars each for these they're just a cute little way something different rather than displaying your beanies and your headbands on um, mannequin heads which I can sometimes find a little bit non-flattering like I just feel like this is a little bit more of a modern way to display headbands and beanies they just stand like that but that's not on the best but you get the idea I'm using it for my beanies as well Cute. Another thing I got from Kmart is this mirror, which is just a wooden frame, mirror with plywood frame. I think it cost about seven dollars. 
Um, and it's just a little mirror that I'm going to sit on my market stall. So if people do want to try stuff on like beanies or headbands, they've got something where they can look at themselves. They can see what it looks like. Um, I think this is super handy if you're selling wearable items because people always want to know what it looks like on. They're not just going to buy it if they've put it on and like, oh yeah, that feels nice, but I don't know what it looks like. Or they're going to be trying to look into their phone screen or whatever. I thought I'd get a mirror just to make life a whole lot easier and hopefully produce more sales. All right, the lucky last thing that I got from Kmart is this letter board. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen these around Instagram or YouTube or anywhere else online because they are super duper popular. I am using mine. As you can see, it says Find Nana Kate's Crochet on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And this is basically just to advertise my social media platforms. And that's just gonna sit at the front of my market store, probably on the floor. And yeah, hopefully that will kind of prompt people to go and follow me on my social media platforms. I guess you could also put your website on there if you wanted to or any other information. Some people use these for pricing, but because I'm selling quite a lot of different items, I don't think I'll use this for pricing because I've got so many different things and they're all different prices. So that's why I got my little mini chalkboards instead if you only sold a couple of different items or one item you could definitely use this to put pricing on but yeah i'm just going to use this for advertising my social media platforms and obviously super easy to use the letters come on and off it comes with a whole range of different letters and numbers and symbols and everything you need to write pretty much anything you want last but not least this is by far my most favorite thing that i've bought leading up to my market store I decided that obviously in this day and age, everybody pays for things by using their debit card or their credit card or their bank card. Not a lot of people, including myself, carry cash anymore. And I wanted to be able to cater. I didn't want people to want to buy something, but then be like, oh, sorry, I don't have any cash. So I really wanted to be able to offer Epros. So I decided to order one of these square card readers. This was so cheap. This cost $19 and I think it was free postage. So, so cheap and so easy to use. So basically when you open it up, it comes with a little box like this. Oops. And then you take the box out of there and inside there's your card reader. Now this literally just plugs straight into your phone. You don't have to worry about um, having internet or wireless or Wi-Fi or anything like that. It plugs straight into your phone. It works off your phone internet. And when you take it out, so you take it out, it looks like that. So it's very small and compact. And then you pull the little tab and to once you open it up, it's got an instruction manual and then a charging cable. So I literally just set this up before I started filming this video. It took all of 10 seconds, literally. All you have to do is download the Square app and sign up for an account, which is free. All you have to pay for is the reader itself, which as I said, costs $19, including postage, so cheap. And I think if you're in Australia, you can also purchase these from Officeworks, which is super handy. If you don't wanna wait for it to be shipped or whatever, you can go into Officeworks. They sell these the same price, $19. And so easy to set up. As I said, all you have to do is download the Square app, you sign up for an account, and the way that Square make money is they take a percentage of all your transactions. So. Say for instance, I think it's, I think it's one point something percent. I think I worked it out as like a twenty dollar purchase. You would end up paying maybe twenty cents. Like it's nothing. It's so so cheap. And obviously, if you didn't want to offer F plus for all transactions, like for things say under twenty dollars, you just write on your market stall F plus available limit twenty dollars. Which so many places do that anyway. So that's not like it's out of the ordinary. People will understand. Otherwise, you could be like, you know, if your purchase is less than twenty dollars, you have to pay a one point nine percent fee. When you buy this square reader, it also comes with a little sign. So you can put this sign up at your market stall so people know that you are offering F plus. So this is what it looks like. It just comes flat, but you just fold it 
and put it together, super easy. Um, so you can have that displayed on your market store table so people will know that you offer FPOS and they will probably be more likely to buy something because as I said, no one carries cash anymore. I don't carry cash ever. If cards not available, like it's gonna put me off buying because I don't have any cash on me. As much as I may want something, I, if I don't have cash, I can't buy it. So offering FPOS is going to be, hopefully, I think, um, a massive advantage for me and hopefully will be more likely to end in sales. So I also just wanted to take you guys through the table that I'm using. It is literally just a fold up trestle table. It folds in half, so it's super compact. It's got a plastic top and like metal legs. I think it's 1.8 meters long. I'm not sure exactly how wide it is, but it's literally the perfect size for me and for the stock that I have. I actually tried setting up my stock a little bit um, the other day and didn't realize actually how big it was. I thought that I would have way less space than what I actually do. But yeah, I'm just using a fold up trestle table, which is what pe most people would use. And yeah, as I said, it folds in half, so it's super compact. You can put it straight in the car, it's easy to pack up, and you don't need any screws or tools or anything to do it. So I definitely recommend getting a trestle table if you're holding a market store. All right, I think that is pretty much everything so far. I am going to be writing a blog post on all of this stuff as well. So I will link that down below, which I will include all the products that I'm using, where I got it from, links to where you can get it from and pricing. So if you are interested in getting any of the stuff that I have mentioned in this video, you can go check out that blog post. I will also link some things down below that I said that I would link throughout the video. But other than that, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you in some way, or maybe it even just gave you some ideas. But as for me, I am now off to finish prepping for this market stall that's happening, two, happening in two days time. If you would like to come along, I will be at the Camberwell Sunday Market this Sunday, the 14th of July, 2019, from 6.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. So feel free to come down and say hi. Obviously, I don't expect you guys to buy anything, but just if you wanted to come say hi, that would be absolutely amazing. And hopefully I'll see some of you there. If you liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified of my future videos or my next market uh, stall vlog, please don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day and thanks so much for watching. Bye.